Hi, I'm Liam, and today you will be learning about Mars. Mars, the red planet, is one of our closest neighbors in the vastness of space. It has filled our imagination since we first called it a planet in 1659. From Edgar Rice Burroughs' stories of a man from Virginia, to Ray Bradbury's Martian Chronicles, to real-life metal robots roaming its surface today, Mars is truly an amazing planet. Here are some of the most interesting facts about Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. It is named after the Roman god of war. It is called the red planet due to its reddish surface, but it is actually gray. Imagine looking up into the night sky and seeing two moons. If you were on Mars, that would be reality. It has two known moons, Phobos and Deimos. Even though Mars has only 15% of the Earth's volume and just over 10% of the Earth's mass, it is about the same amount of land overall. This is because two-thirds of the Earth's surface is covered in water. Olympus Mons, a shield volcano, is the tallest known volcano. It is 21 kilometers high and 600 kilometers in diameter. Despite having formed over billions of years ago, evidence from volcanic lava flows are so recent, many scientists believe it still could be active. How do we know so much about Mars? We've been studying it far away and close up for many years. From our first spacecraft flying by in 1965 to rovers actually forming on its surface today, we are learning about Mars sometimes by the hour. One of the most interesting rovers currently on Mars is Curiosity. Launched from Cape Canaveral on November 26, 2011, Curiosity landed on Mars on August 6, 2012 after a daring landing sequence that NASA dubbed Seven Minutes of Terror. The NASA crew watched the rover's descent on live television, pumping their fists and jumping up and down after the successful landing. Costing about $2.5 billion to create, Curiosity's primary mission is to find out if Mars is, or was, suitable for life. Another objective is to learn about the red planet's environment. To carry out its mission, the rover has a few tools that search for habitability. One of them is an experiment that can search for hydrogen atoms, one of the elements of water. Curiosity has a seven foot long arm that can pick up samples from the surface and study them, cooking them inside the rover, sniffing the gases that come out of there, and analyzing them for clues as to how the rocks and soil are formed. High resolution cameras surrounding the rover take pictures as it moves, providing visual information that can be compared to environments on Earth. Curiosity is controlled from Earth, but not as you may think. There's not someone sitting at a screen with a joystick controlling everything. Instead, they create a whole day's worth of sequences that are uplinked to the Curiosity overnight, and the rover carries out these sequences the next day. As part of my studies of Curiosity, I decided to create a rover on my own to mimic some of the things Curiosity does. Meet Dex. Hi, I'm Dex. Liam created me with Legos. Though I am different than the real Curiosity, there are some things I have in common. Liam is able to send me a set of commands by programming them on his computer and uplinking them to me. The same way NASA sends commands to Curiosity. I can move around on both terrain. It's my six wheels. Curiosity also has six wheels. I also have an arm like Curiosity. My arm is different because it smashes rocks while Curiosities pick them up. Maybe someday, I can go to Mars and smash rocks. Thank you for learning a bit about me as I hope Liam learned about curiosity. Bye! That was a very good speech, Dex. Thanks! As exciting as researching Mars has been, and as much fun I've had making a replica of one of the rovers on Mars, why is it important to explore Mars? One great reason is that space exploration forces us to make advancements in technology and science. Just getting Curiosity to Mars, we had to figure out how it would work successfully once it was there. And finally, in the words of one of my favorite scientists, Neil deGrasse Tyson, So much of what drives cosmic exploration involves the quest to learn whether or not we're alone in the universe. As an intelligent species, or as life at all. Mars being so close compared to the rest of the cosmos, it's a slam dunk as a place you want to go visit. 
Thanks for taking time to learn about Mars with me, and of course, Dex. The majestic robot tries to climb the majestic base, but fail. Da -da -da. 